Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. Means because again our time is kind of uh, constrained. But if you uh, if you follow along in the slides on the objective slide, it's pretty straightforward what we're going to talk about, what we're going to try to accomplish for you, uh, give you some good definitions and working surgical plans of how to attack some of these operative reports that you do see. Uh, this is something I do on a daily basis, uh, multiple. Um, 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 clients around the country. I'm a, uh, a national uh, 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 senior uh, coder for the coding network as well. So we do a lot, a lot of breast and abdominal wall reconstruction cases. So if you start following along, I put in a lot of the more usual uh, codes, as uh, CVT codes, as well as some that a lot of people kind of get a little confused about. The first one that always pops up is the big question about male gynecomastia and male breast reconstruction. Uh, as you probably well know, most insurance carriers love to consider this a cosmetic issue when many times in reality it's not. So teaching your surgeons the proper way of dictating male gynecomastia, what needs to be documented, may be somewhat specific to your insurance carrier for that particular patient. So as in all things we do nowadays, pay particular attention to the insurance carrier and any special uh, policies, <coughs> excuse me, that they may have. Um, the 19300 oh, is a uh, unilateral um, code, can be added uh, with the modifier 50 for bilateral. Again, if some carriers want a left and a right, they want it on two lines, it's kind of all over the board nowadays, but it's whatever they kind of want. Remember, the, the driving diagnosis for male gynecomastia is in itself 611.1, which is just enlargement of the breast. It's not necessarily uh, sex-oriented specific. However, that's why the uh, carriers tend to consider this a cosmetic issue. Uh, if there is other notable uh, history involved of other family things, uh, then that needs to be brought up and that leads us to the very next slide. When in plastic reconstruction and some general surgeons that do their own reconstruction work, remember that once the breast has been removed in some form or another, the idea that the cancer has been taken care of is probably correct, assuming it's at least surgically uh, absent so there, therefore, V4571 is the surgical absence of the breast itself. V16.3 is a strong family history of cancer. V8401 is a, uh, a genetic uh, precursor marker uh, for um, uh, breast cancer, both personally and in the family. Uh, V10.3 is a personal history of the patient's own previous breast cancer, known or current ex excisions of a uh, carcinoma in situ or lobar carcinoma in situ is 233.0. So getting the right diagnosis linked to the right CPT code is clearly always important. Also, a lot of times a plastic reconstructive surgeon may be doing a right-sided breast reconstruction for um, surgical absence of the breast at, from cancer, and the opposite side is for prophylactic breast removal, which is V5041. Uh, the fact that the patient also has a history of cancer is probably important to add to that um, diagnosis, and that goes for both men and women. The next slide I put together just kind of a running list of ICD-9 codes. Once again, a lot of people just kind of get a little confused or a little um. Supercoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 
828-9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial.